Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore why Iran's Khorram Shah 4 missile has become central to rising regional tensions, revealing how its range heavy warhead and deterrence symbolism amplify threats to US and Israeli bases amid unrest and escalating geopolitical pressure across the Middle East. Unrest in Iran has killed many people, as Tehran threatened to target US and Israel military bases if US President Donald Trump follows through on threats to intervene on behalf of protesters. Against this backdrop of internal turmoil and external pressure, Iranian leaders have sharpened their warnings to Washington, signaling that any military action would trigger a broader regional response. It is in this context that attention has turned to the Khorram Shah 4, the largest and most formidable missile in Iran's arsenal, now at the center of Tehran's deterrence messaging. The Khorram Shah missile series is named after the Iranian city devastated during the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. The missile also is called Kaybar, after a Jewish fortress conquered by the Muslims in the 7th century, in what is now Saudi Arabia. It stands as a representation of the latest evolution of this line and reflects Iran's effort to showcase deterrence through symbolism as well as technology. This medium-range ballistic missile stands 13 meters tall and was unveiled in May 2023. Iran says Khorram Shah 4 has a range of about 2,000 kilometers, which is sufficient to reach Israel and U.S. military installations across the Middle East. While Tehran insists that its missile program is defensive, it has launched these missiles in the past. Iranian officials claim the missile can carry a warhead weighing up to 1,500 kilograms, making it one of the heaviest payloads in Iran's ballistic missile fleet. This claim, if accurate, suggests a focus on delivering powerful conventional strikes rather than extending range further. It was developed by an Iranian state-owned defense company named Aerospace Industries Organization, according to media reports. Khorram Shah 4 is reported to use liquid fuel, allowing high thrust and rapid acceleration. Iranian sources say it has a shortened flight time and maneuverable warhead, features intended to complicate interception by missile defense systems such as Israel's Arrow and U.S. supplied defenses in the region. It was first test-fired in January 2017 and is said to be capable of striking 80 targets upon reaching the target area. According to Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard, Khorram Shah 4 was among the missiles used to target Israel after the U.S. struck three of Iran's nuclear facilities in June 2025. Earlier, the missile was reportedly first used in the Sadiq Promise 1 and Sadiq Promise 2 attacks in April and October 2024, when Iran launched some 180 missiles on Israel following the assassinations of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and IRGC commander Abbas Nilfarushan, says Euronews. According to AP, it is modelled after North Korea's Musudan ballistic missile, which is believed to have up to a 4000 km range with a 500 kg payload. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.